So welcome everyone. It's us Hello. again. So I'm Chuck. <laughs> I'm Laís. So yeah, this is Meet Me Pie. Yay. So we <laughs> yeah, th today's Wednesday. Uh for us is uh one PM, so it's the in the middle of the day, in the middle of the week. It's time to chat about Python. Um so uh what what are we going to talk about? Like what's new? The, not new, but like uh I think people already know that. Um PyCon US is go it, well the first announcement was that it's not going to happen physically. So we are not going to Pittsburgh. Don't go to Pittsburgh. Actually, you should already cancel all your flights and accommodation. Uh, you would probably get refund if you have problem. Uh, the committee would help you if you contact them. And uh, they are going online. So I have a Hatchy program actually uh, that is going to teach uh, beginners um, using Python for uh, data science. I do it with uh, two of my friends and we are going to do it online now. So uh, announcement will be coming soon. Uh, we are still figuring out the detail, but it will be basically the first to uh, Saturday of May. So if you're interested in uh, machine learning and Python, um, pay attention to the announcement from um, PyCon US. Uh, anything else? I'm definitely going to be there, like yeah. machine learning and it's all online now. I remember how excited you were about it. Yeah, well, I was excited to go to Pittsburgh as well. I haven't been to the US for 10 years. I got a visa, <laughs> but now I'm not going. <laughs> uh, but Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, but it will last for a bit. So maybe um, there will be more conference to come next year, hopefully. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's my update. And oh, and there will be also uh, a, a mentored sprint that I'm helping as well. You were talking about you two. No, you're talking about. Um, oh, you're talking about um, PyCon US and how you were excited to go to Pittsburgh and you're not going to Pittsburgh anymore. And then you're changing subjects where you're going to talk about please follow the PyCon Pittsburgh YouTube page. Yes. So this is the YouTube page. And yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, if you are staying at home like us, then um, there are more and more Python content for you. So um, please subscribe. Also, uh, PyLadies, they have a they have a YouTube channel as well, is it? Oh yeah, that's true. Yes, we've got a YouTube channel. Yeah, so uh, so you have now you have PyCon, um, and you have PyLady. So there's two more YouTube channels that you can follow for good content with uh, Python talks and. So that's the that's the good thing about this lockdown um, that you know you don't have to spend a lot of money flying and you just have all your talks available at home. True. True. It is a, a great opportunity. Also for like um, for places that were they were hosting their their talks, but they're trying to host it only with local speakers. Now there is this huge opportunity to connect to speakers all over the world. Yeah, and also um, I think Palladis now is like because they are trying to group everything together, so it will be a global uh, community. So if you haven't signed up, oh. please sign up. Have you signed up, Lace? <laughs> I am about to do it. About to do it. Good. Uh, so if you are a PyLadies member of any of the local chapters, uh, so please sign up. If you are not a PyLadies yet, you are welcome to sign up because you would get all the news, all this, like, all, all this, what's going on. Um, now it's like mainly it will be, you know, um, online and um, stuff, but even after you get the news from your local chapter as well. So please sign up. And I really love their logo. They are like doing a lot of customization of the logo, so it reflects the local community, <laughs> which is amazing. Yeah, trying to bring a little bit of inclusive of the diversity to the yeah. logo as well. They were talking it's super. Sorry. The the astronaut is super cool. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, last I think last time because uh, we ha last month we have a um our Palladis remote kind of um, uh, live stream talk and then they are talking about Palladis in Brazil and the logo is super cool and they, the people they are super cool as well so yeah <laughs> oh, well thank you very much we appreciate it <laughs> yeah for those, of you, for those of you who don't know I am Brazilian as well so I'm taking the compliment for myself yeah yeah cool people so um, <laughs> yeah what else from Palladis 
Ooh, so hi ladies we have a lovely map here showing all the chapters and all the members around yes. the world would you like yes. to tell us a little bit more about this uh i think i just want uh people to know that you know um pi ladies are everywhere now so if you even if you don't have a chapter locally yet i think it's uh, now is the time to join so uh because now you can connect to pi ladies around the world and in the future if you want to start a chapter you'll get all the support that you need so yeah mm. interesting i i, I might that as well i'm part of the pi ladies dublin yeah pi ladies dublin is also amazing uh vicky uh the, yeah yeah vicky tommy lee is awesome yeah like uh so yeah we have a really good cool community around the world which is very Thanks. good and they they're mm. now like i think they have a youtube uh, not a youtube like a, a github a repo that you can you know see and to see if there's any action item you can help then it's mm. also good i gotta i gotta do that as well i forgot to do it um but we are super busy we have something going on tonight is it oh yes 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 we do have something going on tonight so python still but this time in ireland so tonight is going to be the first um python ireland remote meetup uh it's our first edition I'm going to be the MC, so I'm going to be hosting. Um, and then we're going to have this super special guest called Emmanuel Tolev. And he's going to be talking about um, app, track, uh, app perform performance monitoring using Python. So it's, I'm super excited about it. And I think it's going to be a great event. Are you going to be there, Chuck? Yes, because Emmanuel is my good friend. Uh, we play games together. <laughs> we are, um, yeah, he's he's very very nice guy, and he always support uh, different communities. And yeah, so yeah, go there and see. I'm sure it will be amazing. And, well, I hope. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, we have more conference going online. Uh, we have uh, two big ones, so PyCon Australia is going online exactly these guys just announced on twitter this morning that uh although their conference was going to happen between the 7th and the 11th of august they decided to just change everything and just just go straight online now uh there's no details published on dates or how everything is gonna go yet but uh the news that they're they're gonna go totally 100 percent online yeah, I got the same news from PyCon Africa as well. It's also happening in August. It's going online as well. So before it was a struggle to choose which one to go. And now you can have, if you have two computer and two screen, you can go to both. Um, maybe the dates will change, but it, even if they happen in the same days, you can attend both at home. Um, so. We need all the support you can get us. So please do support all you can support. Yeah, so... It's, it's amazing. I, th I have never been to uh, PyCon uh, Australia, but a friend who did, and they said it's good. And uh, PyCon Africa as well. I have only been to PyCon Namibia, but I have lots of friends that, you know, they, uh, they, you know, they love PyCon Africa. So, again, it's a good conference. Uh, it's, it's sad that they have to go, um, on, like, online, but... I think it, on the other side, you know, it's like always half full, like half half glass of water, right? So on the other side, it's, it's, it's maybe it's better for people maybe who's like, you know, more physically restricted to travel. They could not attend, which is good. Um, also, we have some good news. Uh, Psychic Image now is uh, joining Nonfocus. So uh, for those who don't know, Nonfocus is uh, it's an organization that supports all this um, scientific open source um you know uh tools so also they are the the organization behind pi data's conference so if you mm -hmm. if you are like you have, you have been to any pi data conference or pi data meetup so non-focus is the organization behind it and they are then non-profit so they're not making any profits uh, they're just supporting these um, open source developments and scikit image is uh, is also a very a powerful tool. I, I really like them, and I've met their um, maintainer, 
And if you are doing any research that is related to imaging, like, for example, now, like, let's say a lot of patient um, is having their lung scanned, right? So psychic image could be useful for doing research uh, on, on the virus because, you know, they could analyze or maybe they could develop a tool that could quickly identify um you know, uh, patients. So which is which is a very, very good tool that I'm happy for them to join on focus. So they would now have more support. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, okay, so I want to like, um, self advertise because now it's like uh, the learning PyCon is in the hype cycle. It was a joke starting like, uh, it's a joke starting last week that um, my, my colleague was saying that, you know, there's this like, uh, quarantine um, hype cycle that you know people are playing Animal Crossing which uh, a lot of me and my colleague like we, we did and then we also you know have other things that are going on one of them is learning Python so um, that's why I'm offering uh, a free uh, you know learning Python series uh, every Sunday uh, 1 p.m. UK time that will start from scratch so if you have no program experience that's the right place that you're looking at and it's free. I know there are a lot of uh, more professional courses offering online. Well, I'm, I won't say I'm professional. So that's why I'm offering for free. It's also again, same on Twitch It's free. So if you are uh, like, you, you know, you, if you don't want to, you, if you don't know whether Python is for you yet, maybe you want to try out, you know, the stream and to try a little bit yourself before you decided to, you know, have some, you know, d like invest in some Python training. So, yeah, uh, that, that's from me. Um, well, I can say that she's professional, and I watched one episode already of the, the Python on Sundays, and I tell you guys, it's a lot of fun. You should go there. Even if you know how to program, you should just go and check, because it's, it's quite fun. Yeah, but you have to bear with my uh, internet and my computer setup for now. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't say it's professional, like, but it, it will improve. I hope, like, I just, yeah. <laughs> but so but for weekend you have a lot of choice to do other stuff because now they're I, I have I, I haven't done a statistic but from what I observe there's like at least like three to four hackathons going on each weekend is it yes it's something like that yeah and the, the best part is mo most of them have a type of some type of charity or some type of community things going on as well. So you not only get to do a little bit of human contact without the contact fish, as you also get to help some people that need it. And I think that's quite important, especially at this moment now. Yeah. In this uncertain time. Yeah, and like a lot of the, the hackathon is actually helping people like now that they're like, oh, we need to, you know, um, maybe help to deal with the data, do some modeling on the virus yeah. data, or sometimes just like helping, you know, people who are vulnerable, like uh, maybe, yeah, so there's a lot. So um, watch out. There is just like, you know, yeah, t you know, just maybe Twitter is a good place to find hackathons. I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, I think, I still think Twitter is the best place to find anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Like, but, uh, yeah like social media I usually like I I'm not a person that you know very into social media but until I get into tech and there's so 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 many news and stuff which like I don't want to miss out so yeah yeah right so um about new <laughs> stuff so we also have some new maybe not new as well because mine is not new uh, it's the library that we want to talk about is it Yes, yes. It's very bad. Yes. What do we have? We have Fox Dot. So Fox Dot yes. is um, actually the first time I heard about it was last year in Europe Python. There was a very amazing um, licensing talk done by Moses, my friend. Like he basically used Fox Dot to play some uh, bits, like music, like beats at the background, and then he was playing harmonica on top of it and it's just like he show off his coding talent and also his musical talent <laughs> so um mm -hmm. what is Fostot? so Fostot is actually a python uh, library that could talk with a uh, music making software called um super collider is it 
Uh, you mm -hmm. have the website, yes, Super Collider. Because I'm not a musician, so this is new for me. Mm. But what you can do is like, because this uh, Super Collider, you can, well, you can use other things to, 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 you know, talk with it, to make music with it. But, but this Python library, Foxtalk, make it super easy for Pythonista or even not Pythonista for musicians that they could, uh, you know, live code just to add layers on top of layers. So there's actually a very cool mm. video that shows that, but I'm afraid that we can't show it here because of the setup that we have at the moment. Uh, maybe in the future, we should think about a way to do that. But uh, maybe we can show the link. Uh, yeah, I or like, yeah, actually I can show you the link uh, in the chat and also I'll show it in the description that, okay. um, yeah, if my chat is loading, but it's not. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> uh, so it's just like uh, fosdot.org uh, that you can check out the video. It's super cool. I was like, it's 30 minutes and I keep watching it till the end. Or even you can just play it at the background. It's, it's music that is making. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I think it's a super cool library, even though for me, it's like I, I'm not a musician, but if I have some spare time, I want to pl play around with it. I'm sure that it would be fun to play around. Uh, so yeah that's it looks that's like me. a lot of fun like it looks like a lot a lot of fun i put the video to play but we unfortunately we can look at, at the code being written but we cannot listen to the music yes. <laughs> so it's not really productive yeah but yeah uh, please check it out uh when you have time so i know lace is going to talk about fast apis or what's that yes uh, so i was going around and i found this quite awesome uh, library that allows you to write APIs, write your APIs in Python super fast, but like super, super fast. So it's a, it's a framework. So they have like loads of little libraries inside and you can just, you just use it. Like it's very high performance. So it's super, super fast. It's quite easy to code as well. So it's like the, the learning curve is quite flat. And as soon as you finish, pretty much your, your application is ready for production. It's quite, it's quite impressive. Um, well, maybe we can it, use that for our chatbot backend, is it? Because we need an API backend. Mm -hmm. mm. We could, we could, absolutely. And the fact that it handles everything that you give it to, it's so fast. Um, because it's written on top of... Um, Starlight and Pydantic, they're two very, very, very high performance um, Python frameworks. Um, that that gives them a lot of so Starlight deals with the web the, the web API things and the Pydantic deals with the data API um, bit and that makes everything like super 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 fast and not only fast um, the fact that it's so easy to use. Uh, made building REST APIs something that like you just you kind of just do it on the go. <laughs> it becomes really really easy. Uh, and then there is another really cool thing. There is Ooh. a little sibling. Yes. So Fast API has Typer that is for developing um, APIs, uh, developing CLI apps. So all those the, those in those applications that only use command line interface, um, well, you'd use Typer to do them, to, to build them, and you'd have the same functionalities of Fast API, but for CLI applications. And it sounds really, really cool. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, I, I only know Click that is like, lets you write a, a CLI application with Python, but this is, yeah, this. Maybe like if you have fast API, you can use this one to try it out because uh, Click is quite, you know, um, you know, simple that maybe you have to do all, the, all of this yourself. But with Typer, maybe I think it's faster if you are using, you know, API to talk to your the back end of your application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's, it's quite it's quite interesting because like even the, the gets and the getters and setters, it's like it's basically two lines of code and you're done. Oh, great. Yeah, we should definitely try it out. Yeah, I would love to. Oh, also, all the documentation, it's pretty much automated. So it's it's dynamic. So you can edit it and uh, render with the functionality that you want as fast as you want. Amazing. So yeah, 
how are we doing with time? Because uh, I'm not looking at the clock. <laughs> I think we have like a minute left. Oh, only a minute left. Anybody in the chat? Any? I'm afraid we don't have any active chat for this time. But if you have think of something else afterwards, if you have ideas in between uh, this time and next week, uh, you can actually show we show the Twitter that we have. Yes, absolutely.